Hello guys, welcome back. So now here, uh, there is one error which has taken place uh, during uh, Migo posting. So look at the error message here. This is the error message which is taking place and this is the error details. Now it is talking about a table. So those who is beginner or freshers for you people bit are difficult to understand what exactly it is talking about. So I'll tell you guys this error appears generally uh, one of my students has shared this uh, what to say error message and all so generally uh, pretty, pretty simple what to say uh, solution is there it means if someone is facing this error and all it means you have missed out one particular setting generally during FIMM integrations when you guys are going to perform this testing and all uh, then this error is appearing right so it means you have missed out one important setting and what is that i'll show you so here generally what happened so this error is appearing at the time of we go posting we go my go whatever you say so i'll go to this transaction code here and uh, i have already created one purchase order let's suppose this is the po and when you press enter right so now the po details are not coming not appearing here what does it mean guys the error has taken place look at here this error or is at bottom you can check here it is appearing the same error which i have specified in the ppt right this error has taken place why this error is taking place guys so there will be a setting called set check for duplicate invoices right uh, okay just do one thing i'm uh, i'll not go through the path i'll just use uh, transaction code i think om or dc something is there the transaction code I have already used here. Yes, OMRDC. Press enter. So here, what we have to do, you just click on so set. Look at here, duplicate invoice check. Now here, so I think my company code is not there. That is why it's PM11 is my company code. So it is not there. That is why this error is taking place. Click on inventory, and you have to add your company code here. Okay, there is a logic behind this setting, guys simply okay this the setting is going to avoid uh, duplicate invoice posting and all right so you have to perform this setting you have to uh, perform this setting and you save it and once you done you have done with the setting and all then i think it is going to allow you okay you press enter just do one thing then refresh the screen because just now we have done the setting slash n we go once again and then give you a purchase order purchase order PO number and press enter so yes now it is taking click on item okay let me click on check yes everything is fine post the transaction let's see yes so now it got posted you can see the entries and all everything will be fine okay so this is what you have to do that specific setting which was missing because of that this error has taken place 